I'm Chris Gould with Geeks On Tour, and this is Fun With Photos. Why I like Google Photos so much. I have three main reasons, and then there's a lot more. First of all, the best software is the one that you know, and I know Google Photos backwards and forwards, inside out. I am a Google product expert and I wrote a book on it. Google Photos was created in 2015 from scratch to work in this age of smartphones and the tidal wave of photos that we take. It is just unsustainable for us to manage our own photos anymore. Google Photos does it for you automatically with artificial intelligence and if you let it all you have to do is enjoy your pictures. Now I have I said three main reasons. The first one is it holds my entire lifetime of photos and I can then view them with any device. It automatically sorts and is searchable and I'm going to show you all this. And third, you don't need to go anywhere else to edit your photos. You don't need Photoshop or any other software. Google Photos does a great job of editing. So those are my three main reasons. But then there's so much more. There's easy sharing, automatic little memories, fun creations, easy to order books and canvas prints, easy to mark favorites. And then there's even more albums, video editing, movie making, photo frames on your TV, and hubs, partner sharing, map view, Google Lens. I can go on and I have in other videos forever. So, but the number one thing is that it can store your entire lifetime of photos. You don't have to ask, where is that photo? Is it in the closet upstairs or is it in that old hard drive? you can put them all into Google Photos. And we have a little pre-recorded segment to show you on this. Hi, this is Chris Gold with Geeks On Tour. And in case you don't know, I'm a big fan of Google Photos. One home for all of your photos because it's in the cloud. In this little video, I wanna give you a short visual representation of why I think Google Photos is so special. If you're anything like me, you have photos all over the place. You have photos on old phones. You have photos on old computers on their hard drives. You have photos in old cameras, lots of camera cards around. Maybe you've put some onto CDs. And then there's just all the photos that we take with our phones. Well, Google gives you storage in the cloud for all of your photos. It's not just anywhere in the cloud. It's your account in the cloud, private for your eyes only. It is under lock and key with your username and password. So what you do is you just start uploading all of your photos to that account. All the old photos from cameras, from CDs, from computer hard drives. How about thumb drives? How about CDs? And then of course all the new photos you're taking from your phone. Once they're all collected in the cloud, Google just waves its magic wand and now they are all in date order by the date taken recorded on the photo itself. Let me show you what this looks like then on a phone or on a computer. So this is my Android phone and there is the Google Photos app. And here's pictures I just took with this phone today, but I can go back, grab this little button, Notice the dates go by. I can go back to 2004 and you know that this phone did not take these pictures. I am seeing all of the photos in the Google Cloud. All I need is a connected device and the Google Photos app logged into my account. So here is my iPad. There is Google Photos. It's looking at my same account. I can tell by the little account button in the upper right. And same thing, I could go all the way back to 2004 or, or before. 
and look at all of the pictures that have collected in my Google account in the cloud. On a computer, you don't have an, an app or any piece of software. You just go directly to the cloud using a web browser. You go to Photos. Or if you're on a Chrome browser, you can click on these little dots here and go straight to photos. You need to sign in with your account, but the next time you do this, you probably will already be signed in like I am. I see that that is my account, and here are the same pictures that I saw on my phone and on my iPad. And here are the same dates. I can go back to 2004 or beyond and see all the same pictures that are in my Google account. Google Photos, one home for your lifetime of photos and videos. Now there's one set of photos that did not get discussed in that little video, and that's old prints and slides. I ran into this little photo the other day that looks like it's my family at Christmas and on the back it says 1982. I want to capture that. So I'm just going to take my phone and take a picture of the picture. So there's the picture. Also notice how dark it is. And Jim, can, while I'm doing this, can you take a picture of me showing how hard I'm working? <laughs> oh, sure. All right. So here I'm just taking a photo of the photo. Hmm? And then I can look at it on Google Photos. And, uh-oh, it got crooked. It got sideways. Well, no problem. I just edit and crop and rotate. And there we go. And then I can crop in and save. And notice how it's, it's a lot brighter. These cameras are amazing. And yet I can still tap on one more and make it very bright. So now this photo that is on my phone is much better than the original. That photo that I took of the old photo, I said it was actually taken in 1982. So what's the problem? When I take a photo of a photo, what is the date? Today's date. No, I want this photo to show up in the date where it was originally taken, all you have to do, is, and you can do this on, on, the phone, on either iPhone or Android or computer, you just go to the date and you change it. I notice it said 1982 on the back, so 1982, and then I see a Christmas tree and unwrapped presents, so I'm going to say that that was December 25, 1982, and when I click save, this photo will disappear from my current photos and it is found in 1982. For slides, we do it the DIY, DIY? Yeah, do, do it, it yourself, yourself way. <laughs> and we just, we get out the old projector, we project the slides and then we take the camp uh, phone and snap as we go. When, when Google, waves its magic wand, not only does it put them in date order, but it groups them by people, places, documents, and then you can search for anything. I'm going to show you on my phone. I just call it my magic attic. Everything has gone up there. Now, and as I scroll back, I can just grab this little button on the phone and notice the dates go by. So I can go to any date. I kind of like 1998. I'm and here, what are, what are these pictures, Jim? <laughs> Those are wedding July dates. 4, 1998, <laughs> there's our wedding, okay. But that's not all. If you tap on search, it has automatically grouped faces together. When my mom died a few years ago, I wanted to do a slideshow of her at the 
services and all I had to do is go into mom and it has all of the pictures. I can even go back and show you my mother as a little girl and I did nothing to make that happen. Google recognizes faces and it groups them together. And there is and there are even more. In addition to faces, there's places, documents, things. It organizes all of these completely automatically. And then I can also search. So I remember a picture of me in the in the marching band. All I remember about it is that I wore white boots. I can just type in white boots and it will find it. But this was back in high school, so it's it's a ways back here. There's the picture I was looking for. Isn't she cute? Me in white boots. But you can also combine. So we have a lot of pictures of beer. <laughs> I can just type beer. Oh yeah. And and there's a bunch. But I am looking specifically for pictures of beer when we were in Belgium. And it will find beer in Belgium. The best beers in Belgium. That's that's right. And this is when we were in in Belgium. Or things like, all I remember is that I have a picture of our RV and a picnic table. RV, picnic table, and let's say, I, I probably have lots of pictures of our RV and picnic table. I want one that is in Arizona. So RV, picnic table, Arizona. And it will find it for me. And that is our RV with a picnic table in Arizona. No tagging, no work on my part at all. And then there's editing. I love editing with Google Photos. Here's just an example of a photo that's okay, but after just a couple of clicks, and I have a video on that, if you go to geeksontour.com and search for video 811, you'll see how to do this. Then there's special editing something called Magic Eraser. There's a video 791 on that. Now, this is a special one. No, very few other software have the ability to take items out of a photo. I asked Jim to take a picture of me with his phone. It goes to his Google account. Then how does it show up? in my Google Photos. Partner sharing. And we have clicked the button to say, if he ever takes a picture of me, I want it. And it gets automatically sent and saved to my Google Photos account. That is the partner sharing. You do, you know, there's several options. When I take a picture of him, it will automatically get saved in his Google Photos account. And I just love that. I mean, anybody else distressed that they don't have any photos of themselves because they're always the one taking the pictures? Well, you can, you can do it. If you want to learn more, you can scan this code and get a free, the first chapter of my book, Learn Google Photos. Or if you are a premium member and you can become one at geeksontour.com, join now, you get the entire book. <music>